Here we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to randomly pull from a list of names. Now, my thought behind this was maybe if you're a teacher and you are you have your list of your students and you were thinking of maybe doing some kind of fun lottery or you want to just randomly pick on somebody, this was a pretty good method of doing it. Um, so in this situation, I have a formula set up where I'm just pressing F9 and it's actually just refreshing and randomly picking from the list you see here in column B. So how do we do that? So the formula here, and I'll go ahead and I'll type it back out, but it uses an index function as well as the formula uh, rand between. Quickly delete that. Now before we show you how to do that, I just wanted to show you one other easier method in case that seemed a little too complex. Either way, I'll be putting these formulas in the description below of the video. And what we do here using rand between, that's why I have a list of numbers in column A. So if I go ahead and do rand between, and it'll return random numbers between the numbers I specify, right? So if I want to do, if I have a, my list of names numbered, this makes things a little extra easy for you as well. So the bottom just means what is, what bottom and top is just the, the range of numbers that you're working with. So in this case, we'll just make bottom number one, and top will be 20. I'm just picking the cells just because it's easier. Close. And it picked for me automatically, automatically picked number 10 for me. Now, as I mentioned before, if you hit F9, it'll just change randomly for you. So that's like an easier way if you don't feel like you're doing the whole index aspect. Um, but what you do here, if you want to actually see the actual names, maybe you don't have it numbered, go ahead and do equals index and we're gonna pick this range here now the reason I didn't pick the whole column here is because I don't want it to include name as one of the random names it picks out now we'll do rand between and again we'll do we have to establish our range but we're not working with numbers we're working with names here right so the bottom is still gonna be one and for the top, we're actually going to use count A, which counts all, whether it's a, a number or not. And then we're just going to highlight this exact amount that we have here. Close that. And then we close the ren between, because now we have our range. Then let's go ahead and put one at the end. Oops, nope, false. I almost got ahead of myself for a VLOOKUP. That was not the case close the entire index and then we go you hit enter and you notice actually that the form of the other rand between that we made also updated as well so now these will be randomly generated notice that these aren't going to match so if it's less confusing just get rid of one but any action you take other than just f9 it will go ahead and ref it'll refresh the list here for you well that's it for me i hope this was helpful for you in whatever situation you might need something like this for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was kind of like my Super Bowl video. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely go ahead and take a look at that as well and some of my other videos.